Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. Hello, okay, welcome to Module 4, Module 4, Lesson 1, Le Searching a Region in the Plane. So before I start, though, there's a mathematics involving programming mathematics that's involved in programming at this website. So watch this video. If you get an opportunity, type this into your um, computer. This is the URL that will take you to a YouTube video. I've shown YouTube videos in, this vi in videos before, but a video in a video loses resolution. So I just encourage you to watch that on your own. All right, so let's continue classwork. Exploratory challenge. Students in a robotics class must program a robot to move about an empty rectangular warehouse, as seen in that video if you watched it. The program specifies location at a given time t seconds. The room is twice as long as it is wide. So there it is, 1,000 by 2,000. So this is the point 2,000. And this is the point 1,000. This is the point 2,000 comma 1,000. Locations are represented as points in the coordinate plane with the southwest corner of the room de deemed the origin 00, zero and the northeast corner deemed the point 2000 comma 100 in feet as shown in this diagram. The first program written has the robot moving at a constant speed in a straight line. Okay, straight line, linear equation from algebra one, y equals mx plus b. At time t equals one second, the robot is at position 30 comma 45. At what location will the robot hit the wall? Oops, I skipped. In t three seconds, it's at position 50, 75. Complete the exercises and answer the questions below to program the robot's motion. All right, so for starters, we need to get a visual as to where this is. Well, if this is 2000, this is about a thousand here. This is about 500, 250, 125. Just to get an idea, we're breaking this down. And at position 30 comma 45, well, this would be 500 and four, three, two, 100, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand. And these aren't accurate, but you get the idea. Just to get an idea as to where we are, these are hundreds, and this was what? 1,500, 250, 125. We want to go out to 30 and then 45. So we're way down here at the point 30, 45. That's at t equals one second. t equals three seconds. Two seconds later, it's at position 50, comma 75. So if this is 125, 50 is a little to the right. And 75 is up just a little bit more. So it hasn't gone very far. They're both right about there. At what location will the robot hit the wall? So if it's going in this direction, so what we have is a linear equation. Remember, all we need is two points to um, generate a line. So if we're at so what this question is asking is if the robot started here and got to here in two seconds and it keeps going in that linear fashion, where is it going to hit the wall? So it's going to the, be the point x, some x comma 1000 for y. All right, so we need to find the equation of that line. So just keep in mind that the slope of a line equals change in y divided by the change in X. So in our situation, we have 75 minus 45, our two Y's, divided by X minus X, which is 50 minus 30. 75 minus 45 is 30, and 50 minus 30 is 20, and I can reduce that to three halves. So my slope or my rate of change is it's going up three over two, up three over two, up three over two, and continuing on. So my M is three halves. Okay, so now we have the point slope formula, which is Y minus Y1 equals M times 
x minus x1. Okay, and we choose one of the two points. Doesn't matter which one you choose, they're both on the line. I will choose the smaller numbers, 30, 45. So my y1 is 45, so I put that here. So it's y minus, it's y minus 45. equals my slope m, and there should be a closed parentheses here, three halves x minus x1, which is 30. So the equation of my line is this, and I can simplify that by distributing. So y minus 45 equals three halves x minus and 90, three times 30 is 90, minus, divided by two is 45. And then I add 45 to both sides and I get my y. So y equals, I get my equation, I should say my y equals mx plus b, my slope intercept form of the equation will be y equals three halves x. Why do I keep putting equals? And negative 45 plus 45 is going to be zero, so it just goes away. And my y-intercept is definitely the origin. So this line, I just have determined that it will go through the origin, like so. Through those two points, 30, 45, 50, 75, where is it going to hit the wall? So notice the wall is y equals 1,000. So now I just have to say, okay, 1,000 equals 3 halves x. Multiply both sides by 2 thirds and we're done. Because the 3's cancel, the 2's cancel. 2,000 divided by 3 equals x. And 3 goes into 27 times, 6 times, 18 with the remainder of 2. So it's 6.6 .6 repeating or six and two thirds. So 2000 divided by three is 666 and two thirds. And I could always use my calculator to check that. So 2000 divided by three. 666.67. So 666 and two thirds is the answer where it's going to hit the wall. 666 and two thirds comma 1000 and boom, it hits the wall. Okay, part B might be a little confusing to you to get started. Um, it says at what speed will the robot hit the wall? Well, if I zoom in, if you will, on this situation, let me just draw a right triangle. I've got to flip it over. Okay, so picture this as being the two points. So this is the point 30 comma 45 right here. And this is the point 50 comma 75. Okay, so I need to know how far it went. And we know that it was at T equals one second here. This is one second. And right here is three seconds. So this distance is two seconds. Okay. So if I figure out how far this is by doing the Pythagorean theorem, I can find the distance it traveled in two seconds and divided by two and that's how fast it's going. So to go from 30 to 50, this distance here, let me change colors. Use blue. So X is 30, X is 50. 30 to 50 is a distance of 20. It went from 45 to 75, that changed by 30. So that's our rate of change. That was this right here. X changed 20, Y changed 30. So I have a 20 by 30, and then I can find the other side by the Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I don't know my c squared, but I do know a is 20 and b is 30. So 400 plus 900 equals c squared. And that's 1,300 equals c squared. And then I take the square root of both sides 
and that looks like C2, C squared, and then I get C equals the square root of 1,300. So square root 1,300 is about 36.05. So this is 36.05. And, and what is these, these distances? It doesn't really say, it doesn't say inches or feet. Yes, it does, it says feet, I believe, in feet. So this is 36 feet in two seconds. So 36.05 divided by two will give us how fast it was going per second. So at what speed will the robot hit the wall? At approximately eight, 18 feet per second. Okay, so now it says part C, at what time will the robot hit the wall? Okay, so that is another right triangle. So let me just draw a right triangle here. So I wanted a different color, but I'll change it. Let's see, change the color to uh, blue. And then I'm going to do another segment from here to here. And again, I want it blue. Okay, so there's my right triangle. So at zero seconds, it was here. And we want to know how far that is. And then we can figure out what, how much time has gone by when the robot hits the wall. OK, so this is a right triangle. This distance is 666 and 2 thirds. And this distance is 1,000. So I want to find this distance. So it's the Pythagorean theorem again. OK, so it's a squared plus B squared equals C squared. 666 and 2 thirds squared plus 1,000 squared equals C squared. So distance really is, if we take this, if we take the square root of both sides, then we're going to get C. So let's just call that D. So this is a distance formula. Distance equals the square root of A squared plus B squared. That is the distance formula in general. So if I continue with this now, and I'll erase this, distance is the Pythagorean theorem. So this distance is equal to this squared plus this squared. So D equals the square root of six, six, six and two thirds quantity squared plus 1,000 squared. So the distance is, and then I can just go on my calculator and hit the square root of 666.66666, just to go out a little bit, squared plus 1,000 squared. And we're taking the square root already, so the answer is 1,200 and approximately 1,202. We'll scroll around. So D is approximately 1,202 feet. So that's the distance. So now distance equals rate times time. And it says at what time will the robot hit the wall? We want to solve for T by dividing both sides by R. So then we get T equals the distance divided by the rate it's moving. And we already know the distance is 1,202 feet. And the rate is 18 feet per second. So the feet will cancel and 1,202 divided by 18 is 66.78. seconds. So just over a minute, a minute and seven seconds approximately is how is what time the robot will hit the wall in a minute and seven seconds. Page two, exercises number one. Now it says plot the points on a coordinate plane. So if we go back, we're really basically doing what I've already shown you. I've erased some of it though. So it's asking us to plot the points on a coordinate plane. And the points are 30, 45, and 50, 75. So if I do that, I get this. 
So here they are graphed on the coordinate plane, 30 comma 45, 50 comma 75. Note that this is probably not drawn to scale. And it says, draw the segment connecting the points. So that segment's already there. So this is part one and two. Number three says, how much did the X coordinate change in two seconds? Okay, so the change in X is from here to here. So basically all it's asking is, what are the X values? So the X value here is 30, the X value here is 50, 50 minus 30 is two, zero, 20. How much did the X coordinate change in uh, two seconds? It changed by 20 feet. How much did the Y coordinate change? Well, the Y coordinate is from here to there. And that's 45 up to 75. So the answer to that is 75 minus 45, which is 30 feet. What is the ratio of the change in Y to the change in X? So Y to X. So that's our slope. The ratio of change is our M or our slope. So the ratio of change is 30 to 20, which equals three halves. Six says, what is the equation of the line in motion? Okay, so that's the equation y equals mx plus b. And we already know that this is going to continue to the origin from the previous page. But if you didn't, you'd have to find the slope of this, which is this, and then use one of the points in the point slope formula to find the y intercept. And we found that out to be the origin. So the equation of this line is y equals mx plus b, where b is zero. So it's just y equals three halves x. Number seven now says, what theorem could be used to find the distance between these two points? Well, that's the Pythagorean theorem. And then eight says, how far did the robot travel in two seconds? Okay, so we've already done this on the prior page. How far did the robot travel in 20 seconds, that was just, and I'll do it again, just to remind you that the distance formula is the square root of a squared plus b squared. So all we'd have to do is say distance equals the square root of a squared, which is here, change in x, 20 squared, plus the change in y, which is 30 squared. So the distance is just simply the change in y squared plus the change in x squared. And the distance is, we already did this, 400, plus 900, which is 1,300. And the square root of 1,300, if I go back to this page, was approximately 36.05. If it's still on my screen here, no. Um, but let's do that. The square root of, let's go back to this, make sure I do it right, 1,300. The square root of 1,300 is, Whoops, missed a zero. Square root one, three, zero, zero. Enter, and I get 36.05 feet. Okay, so that's just a quick uh, review of Pythagorean theorem, the equation of a line slope and all of that. So it's all an algebra one review in this lesson. Okay, page three brings us to the end of a very short lesson one. Go to your problem set.